Today I'm going to make a short video kind of explaining uh, the uses and why I really like this new accessory I purchased at the NAMM show this year, which is the Clang Bogan Tone Enhancer. So the Clang Bogan by Reed Geek is a really great saxophone accessory, and you might wonder what in the world does this thing do? Well, it's a tone enhancer, and it's going to take your saxophone and add a little bit more overtone to the sound. And depending on which one you get, who you are, your saxophone make and model, it's going to alter the sound and give you, hopefully, a little bit sweeter of a sound. Now, I'm doing this video less as a uh, review, trying to get people to buy the product, and more of a sort of, why would I buy this product? What, in the, what is the point of it, and what does it do? I'm not working with Reed Geek, they're not paying me anything. But I do really believe in this product. I use it on every single one of my saxophones, and I record with it all the time. So if you've checked out any of my albums recently, every single one of them has been recorded with one of these attached to my saxophone. So I'm a real believer in it, but I'd like you to make that decision for yourself and see if the extra hundred dollars is worth it to you or not. The tone enhancer is made to add a little bit of oomph to your saxophone sound. It's not going to make you darker, brighter, lighter, or anything else. It's just going to take the natural sound you already produce and make it just a little bit sweeter. Now, some people feel like it's voodoo magic and it doesn't really do anything, but when I play on it, it certainly makes me feel like uh, I'm making a better sound, and I really like it. And you're going to hear in a minute when I test this thing out the kind of change it makes to the sound. Now I have one of these for every single one of my saxophones and I use it all the time. It never comes off, which is another great feature. This actually just attaches to the next screw of your saxophone and just hangs there. So you can just put it right back in the case when you're done playing and there's no need to remove it. And I've never found a case where it doesn't fit on the saxophone in the case, which is a really great feature. It's an incredibly simple design as you can see. It just has a little hole there for your next screw to insert in and then you just let it fall down and come in contact with the body of the saxophone. And that's it. It really is that simple. So I'm going to be testing out uh, the Clang Bogan with my uh, Yamaha Custom Z tenor saxophone. I actually have two different Clang Bogans for tenor saxophone. One that's made out of silver, which is on the tenor now, and also one that's made out of just brass. They come in a couple of different materials, and believe it or not, the materials make a big difference. So, so you'll definitely want to talk to them a little bit about your needs and what you're looking for, um, because I use the anodized black uh, one on my alto saxophone. I use the gold one on my soprano. I've been using the silver one on my tenor and my baritone, and I just recently picked up the raw brass one that I'm using on my other tenor saxophone, which happens to be lacquered. So to begin with, I'm going to loosen up the clang bogan and pull it away from the saxophone so it's really not affecting the tone. <laughs> Now the difference might be kind of subtle, but like I said, maybe it's just in the response or the way the saxophone reacts, but I really like the way it sounds and I really like what it does to my sound. So now I'm going to try the brass uh, clang bogan on the tenor just to see what the difference is. Again, I'm going to start without it engaged and then I'll put it on. <laughs> So again, hopefully you notice a difference. If you liked what you heard, leave a comment. If you can't tell the difference whatsoever, again, leave a comment. 
The channel's been expanding a lot lately, so if you're enjoying the videos, the music, and any of the content, please like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. I've got some tour dates coming up and some great projects I'm working on, so uh, keep watching for all the good music, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later.